Hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and we are about to we are about to jump into playing Hades for the first time. This is a game that's been on my radar for quite a little while. I refuse to buy it from the Epic Game Store because I do because I do not agree with Tim Sweeney's buying up of exclusives from indie developers and whatnot. And then that really drove the point home when the Ooblips developers essentially said, God ours, fuck you. And then Hades did come out on Steam, as we had all expected it to, but it didn't, but it did not come, come out of early access until just today. So I've been looking into this game for a little while. I have never played it. I know very little about it aside from the come that it comes from super giant games. The, de the developers of games such as Bastion, Transistor, and Pyre, all three of which are good games for their own reasons. Bastion was uh, just a narrative treat with a with a narrator who had a voice as rich and thick as Christmas pudding. I love that narrator. Transistor, which again, I have not really played very much, but that game was also very interesting, and it kind of like had the kind of semi-coding aspect to it. There was a lot about there was a lot about that game to like. Mm. No, we're gonna turn off screen shake. <laughs> no, I'm not turning on God mode. numbers, transmit data. Fair enough. Um, controls. X, attack, A, dash, B, cast, Y, special. Right trigger, call, left trigger, summon. Right bumper, interact. Open codex. Alright. So... I don't know if I'm going to want aim assist or not. I guess I'll find out. Display. It already has the right display, so cool there. Not interested in the patch notes. And then their third game, Pyre. That was that was a game that was all about... The tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. Bitches. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. What if I don't want to? Uh. Goodbye, Father. Welcome to Tartarus. To hell with this place. Okay. Hero is Mr. Edgy, apparently. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. Yeah, try and stop me. Overhead smash. Overhead smash. Oh, hey, small thing. Crushed. Crushed. I mean, yes, that's very, very much what I would call crushed. Sorry, I'm used to playing Undermine at this point, which, which allows you to... Here, we'll throw that at you. Oh, you've got my red thing. Give me back my red thing. So we have essentially a four-hit combo by going X, 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 Y. There she is. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. 
I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Well, thank you, Athena. I like that. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go Divine Dash. Man, you can't hear me all the way where you are, Goddess. But thank you. Alright, well, I'm really kind of digging the presentation so far, and I mean, Greek myth has always been a, has always been something I've really, really gotten into. Enough so so that in our D and D world, the the gods who are very much based off of off of mythological gods do make appearances. Give me that key. Wonder whether I can use this. You're just a chatty Cathy, aren't you? Alright, so you can use the control pad to move around. I'm not sure I really liked it. Was I supposed to be able to do that? You just dash through shit? Okay, I'm confused. But, like I said, strand. Narration with very well-voiced characters is something that Supergiant seems to do very well. Here they come. Yes, here they come indeed. Hey, I don't mind this sword. It's got a nice, well-defined attack arc. It's strong enough to handle what I need it to handle. Good, good. In the name of Hades. Boons of Athena. Resist damage from traps. And take Divine Strike. Alright, so far so good. Really digging how this how this game is present oh. Okay, bubble butts. Owie. Okay, they actually have a greater attack range than I gave them credit for. You guys suck. I want to get the fat guy out of the way. Okay, you can stop shooting crap at me whenever you want. Deflected! The underworld's power. Something for the mirror. All right, so what happens when you go through the red door? But I can fight. Hey, it wasn't what I was aiming for, but it still works. Give me my red thing. I don't even know what this is supposed to. What what it is? They're armored. They're armored. so far. So armored just means they're resistant to my attacks? Oh, basically means they have two health bars. Okay. Scully boy, how do you do? All right, let's 
Very good. Alright, so there will be some challenge to this game. I mean, I really shouldn't expect any less. Oh god, these guys armored? Well, this this big fat fuck won. Deflected. I do like how the top-down view of everything gives you a really good idea of what you need to of what you need to dodge and what's and what to look out for. That'll keep me going for a bit. Yeah, the presentation is definitely pretty ballin'. Deflected! Not deflected! Woo! Yeah, I am quite digging this. Yeah, I think Divine Dash was the way to go. Ding! I'll just take that. Yes, please, let's take that. So is there a map or anything I can look at? Guess not. Yeah, I can see myself spending a lot of time on this game learning all of its nuances and how to get good at it. Whoa, new enemies! God, they're throwing bombs. Kaboom! for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. Very interesting. My special inflicts doom. Nice, I like that. The what was that edgy violence? Come on, Zagreus. You don't you don't need to do that to yourself. You don't need to be like the greatest edge war. see myself playing this on break at work. Oh, the Doom thing is so cool. Thank the gods. Alright, so... Looks like what we have here is very much a rogue, a roguelike like dungeon crawler combat. Witches! And a witches! got me. Oh, that's bloody. There is no escape. I suck. Not really, because I'm just learning the game, but... 
kids. That's what I get for not paying attention to what was around me. <sighs> Damn it. And my spiked hair. <clears throat> Welcome to the House of Hades. Hypnos. Hey, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Thank you, Hypnos. Some of us more than others. Back already. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go. See for yourself. Oh, that's hubris. That is hubris right there. Can't do that. Do not so much as think about it. What is it now? Of a mountain of infernal parchment work. Parchment work. You have come home. Do not despair, Jim. Nix. Interesting. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. You made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. And she's the goddess of wisdom. I'm sure she will be. I believe it, Nix. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. But the risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Don't be a little bitch. Yes, we are. Then go. All right. Well, I see how this is going to go. Hey, room, it... I'm back. <laughs> hey, room, I'm back. Night and darkness guide me. One time per rank. All right. All right. Chthonic Vitality. All right. We're going to put all of our points there for right now. Ooh, Greater Reflex seems like what I really want. The bed chambers of the Prince Zacharias lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house, repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Because what teenager ever cleans their room? Who needs sleep? I mean, I guess if you're... I guess when you're stuck in Hades, do you really ever sleep all that much? Okay. There we go. Coronat, the heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Over here. What the? Oh, Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? <laughs> on your payroll? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If you insist. Hey, not bad. Pretty 
Interesting, and then I can just grab my sword back at any time. Alright, so I can just unlock weapons to, per to change per change to permanent. That's the spirit. Nah, I'm good. Alright, so actually it looks like there's a decent number of weapons to play around with, and you know, I am plenty okay with that. Alright. Thunder. Is that is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. <laughs> you have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Well, thank you, Zeus. Oh, you know I want this. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day, or night, whenever. Alright, so my cast is now very interesting. It'll probably be more interesting. Okay, the special here is really good. Mmm, yes, more, more, I can't get enough. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this, and Undermine, and Binding of Isaac, these are like games I can play forever and ever until the end of time. Owie. Yeah, those guys attack fast enough that I really need to be careful around them. And even though it actually is to my benefit to leave aim assist on, I kind of want to turn it off. It makes it feel a little too easy when I'm using this. Each exit has its own reward. Thank you for telling me. Although I kind of already figured that, but I mean, you know, thank you for the heads up. Oh, I get it because they're heads. <laughs> oh, funny. Very nice. On a key. Yes, I'll be needing that to unlock more stuff. The Skullamat is it? Is it the big guy with club or the things that are literally skulls that look like they've been like they've been used as doormats? I'm guessing it's this. I'm guessing it's the latter. All right, so these skull enemy enemies that charge your location are gonna be a pain when using the bow. Body slam, whatever that means. A palm of power. Was that enough to eat? Alright, so my cast is strong. I gotta remember that I have that. A friggin' chain lightning? I mean, who doesn't love a little chain lightning? I mean, aside from those on the receiving end of it, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, lightning time.
give. Hmm. So, is this, is this guy always going to sound like the edgelordiest edgelord that's ever edgelorded over the edgelords? Absorb my blow. Oh no. I am also quite liking the deflection ability. Give me my chain lightning back, you bitch. What is this? Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time, and Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Oh, I don't know about that. I'll definitely take Divine Dash. Protection. Um, so what is the reward here? Let's find out. I think I hear the river. Kieran's shot. Is that really just like a gyro and fries? Oh my goodness. And a palm of power. But I don't have enough coins for that. Well, good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman, Charon, lie sprawled about. Available for sale to whomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. <laughs> I can respond to the narrator. So what I really want is one of these two things, but I don't have enough money, so I'm just going to move on. Alright, yeah, this game is a lot of fun. What you know. wish there? Survive for 45 seconds. advantage you get for using the bow is all about range. Which is fine. I didn't expect this to be doing more damage than the sword. Good enough. Finally. Alright, so those chambers are survival rooms. And now I have a pretty good idea of what... Oh, another key. Now I have a pretty good idea of what's... The shop symbol looks like too. I won't remember it, but that's okay. I won't remember it yet, I should say. Given enough time and experience, I'll surely remember. Owie. At least the traps don't do, like, ridiculous damage like they do in, like, Neon Abyss. This has been very much a roguelike year, I'm not afraid to say it. Not that I find that to be a bad thing, mind you. And this is my type of game. This can unlock something back home. It can. Oh, it's the blue one. I want to know what the blue one is. I'd say between this, between Undermine, un Underworld, what? Un between this, Undermine, One Step from Eden, 
it's just been a smorgasbord of roguelike goodness this year. I know some people aren't very big on roguelikes. I don't 100% blame them. Ow. I mean, because it is kind of... It is kind of odd to see that the greatest trend in gaming is not to so much design levels as as it is to design just random orders for them to appear in. But if there's one thing that I know a lot of gamers, and obviously myself included, really like, it's to have a fun challenge. And sometimes the best way to do that is to make it so you don't know what's coming up next, so you just have to really work with identifying patterns. Crashing waves. The trident. It's uncle number two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus may accept this message. Alright, so the blue tridents are Poseidon. Oi there, little Hades. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. I'm also really digging the art style. And knocks foes away. That is freaking perfect. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the sea should be of help. Yeah, I am really digging this game. Like, this kind of makes me want to call in sick to work. I'm not going to, but it makes me want to. Oh yeah, this game is really well designed. I am totally, totally okay with this. Does it make you wish? Does it make you wish you had played it on the Epic Game Store? Absolutely not. Because you see, as much as Tim Sweeney likes to think that his storefront is like the greatest thing since sliced bread, as said, I'm still not. I'm still not entirely okay with with their business strategies, nice try, or or with what they should Owie. No, you go away. <laughs> Dashed him into oblivion. Deflect that, deflect that. I really like Divine Dash. Yeah, I got a hundred monies! They got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. Alright, so that's the shop. I would rather get one of these palms of power, thank you very much. The power of the gods. Oh, okay, I just get a freebie. What is this? Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. I like how he can just straight up talk to the narrator. So I'm guessing this is a boss fight. Like. Part Sagrius. Megara? One step further. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have someplace else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back, like a good little man, or I can send you on a painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. She's a fast little minx, isn't she? Please tell me she does more than this. This is this seems entirely too easy. Hey, that's my line, bitch. Oh, hey. 
yeah, her attack power does change. Alright, I don't know her attack patterns very well, so you'll have to forgive me if I end up dying. back to give you what's for in the next time I play Megara. Oh, cheers for that, Meg. Oh, they even, they even has specific dialogue for being beaten by Megara. Wow, this game is so well polished. Alright. Progress saved less than a minute ago? Alright. Alright, so this is going to be a lot of fun to play for the channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really going to dig Hades. This, oh, this is another game where I'm super happy to see that it came out of early access. And yeah, kudos to Supergiant Games. You guys make really good games, even though I don't quite understand why you wanted to remake NBA Jam with a character-based narrative, but whatever. So all of that having been said, look forward to seeing more Hades on the channel. This game I can dig. But again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for giving me some of your precious spare time. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in the near future. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe, tango. And I will be back soon. My name is Dark Sage Walker. I'll be seeing you.